She may have been the princess of Monaco, but to us, Grace Kelly is the queen of cinematic style. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Grace Kelly fashion moments in movies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're only looking at Grace Kelly's most iconic outfits worn in films, so her own personal ensembles aren't eligible. Number 10. O'Donnell Suit – Rear Window It's utterly beautiful. Wish I could be creative. The O'Donnell suit worn by Kelly's character in Rear Window has to be one of the most iconic moments a skirt suit has ever had on film. Lisa Carol Fremont shows up to the main character's house wearing this impeccably tailored green skirt suit with a white silk halter neck shirt. Why don't I slip into something more comfortable? The accessories are really what take this outfit over the top, from the pearl necklace to the white pillbox hat and veil, making it appear oh so expensive. The look was created by the acclaimed costume designer Edith Head, who later used a similar O'Donnell suit on Tippi Hedren for another Hitchcock movie, The Birds. I always suspected as much. Number 9. Black and white beach top with caprice and skirt To catch a thief, not many people can make beach wear look so refined, but most people don't have this actress's natural grace. Sporting a black halter swimsuit paired with rolled up capris and a full white skirt, this look could be worn poolside as well as in a fine dining establishment, giving the ensemble a sense of duality most outfits don't have. And while the clothing itself is striking, it's the wide brimmed white hat over a black turban that takes the whole look to another level of chic that only Grace could carry. It's a look that demands the attention of everyone in the room. Number 8. White Dress – To Catch a Thief Many women tend to shy away from wearing all white since the color is notoriously unforgiving and runs the risk of looking like a bridal gown, but Grace Kelly looks like absolute perfection in this structured white strapless gown. Tonight you're going to see one of the Riviera's most fascinating sights. The woven bodice and slight sweetheart neckline give the gown some visual interest before the cinched waist billows out. The dress elongates her frame, while the color gives a nice contrast to her golden skin and locks in To Catch a Thief. Give up, John. Admit who you are. Finally, the diamond necklace elevates the look and gives it a breathtaking effect. You know as well as I do, this necklace is imitation. Well, I'm not. Number 7. Silk Nightgown – Rear Window What do you think? Sleepwear isn't usually cause for a major sartorial moment, but the silk nightgown Grace Kelly wears in Rear Window shows that you don't have to look like a slob when going to bed. Compact, but uh, ample enough. The gown's deep v-neck cut and its tight waist show off her curves, while the floor-length skirt keeps the look modest. Paired with the see-through robe, the extra material gives it some movement that makes it perfect for twirling. Grace calls the look a preview of coming attractions, which is a witty line of banter that a look like this deserves. Preview of coming attractions. Number 6. Embellished Tool Dress – High Society This frock worn in high society is a classic example of 1950s feminine style that will make any woman look timeless. In the film, Grace Kelly's character wears the Helen Rose-designed gown after she drunkenly escapes her bachelorette party and runs into Frank Sinatra. They'll go over the wall. He takes her into his arms and serenades her while they dance. Each twirl, spin, and dip shows off the beautiful shimmering gray gown. The sheer overlay with the silver flowers looks gorgeous in the lighting, and the tool of the skirt moves like a dream as she completes each step. Number 5. Black Dress – Rear Window You're beginning to scare me a little. Every woman needs a perfect little black dress, and this ensemble in Rear Window is the perfect one to show off a shift in the film's narrative when it gets a little darker and the characters start to believe they've witnessed a murder. Sitting around looking out of the window to kill time is one thing, but doing it the way you are with binoculars… It's a little more dangerous and daring than the other looks Kelly wears in the film, while still keeping that same tailored look. The pleated organza is expertly done and adds visual interest to the skirt. Meanwhile, the sheer cap sleeves and twisted knot in the bodice are the kind of little details that make the dress stand apart from other similar outfits. Tell me everything you saw and what you think it means. Number 4. Gold Dress – To Catch a Thief By the end of To Catch a Thief, the main characters must attend an elaborate masquerade ball. 
Many of the looks in the film are already so epic, but Edith had outdid herself when she dressed Grace Kelly in this over-the-top Marie Antoinette-inspired gown. My nerves could stand a drink. The costumes for this scene were some of the most extravagant head ever made. The dress looked like a work of art with the 3D detailing making it seem as though the butterflies could fly off the gown, with the fan and the golden wig adding to the decadent feel. Number 3. Red Dress. Dial M for Murder Before Tony comes, I, I ought to explain something. Grace Kelly was usually clothed in more subdued, lighter shades, but this red dress makes us wish we saw her in bolder colors all the time. In head-to-toe red from her lipstick to her dress to her shoes, she looked like a woman to be reckoned with in Dial M for Murder. It's not as simple as that. The red lace of the gown was an exquisite touch for the back and sleeves, which made it appear so feminine and chic. The whole look screams the 1950s in the best possible way, which was a time when elegance was at its height. I recovered the handbag about two weeks later from the lost and found, but the letter wasn't there. Number 2. Blue Dress – To Catch a Thief Everyone knows that blondes look good in blue, but we didn't know they could look quite as good as Grace Kelly does in this Grecian-style ensemble. The sky blue dress is a feat of draping, a style that can look quite sloppy if not done correctly. But that's definitely not the case with this gown, which makes Kelly look regal and in command whenever she's on screen. How come you have made a pass at my daughter and don't say, oh, mother, to me? All that material could easily have overpowered her if the balance wasn't struck just right. But instead, the chiffon frock is feminine and the fabric highlights her frame. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. How do you do? I'm Tracy Lord. Number one, black and white dress, rear window. Please, sir. Carol. Fremont. Grace may have become real-life royalty later in life, but she already looked the part in this black-and-white evening gown seen in Rear Window. Edith Head did some of her best work when she concocted this look. The top is simple and streamlined, but the double V of the bodice shows off her chest, back, and the elegant slope of her shoulders. What would you think of starting off with dinner at 21? The white chiffon and tulle skirt made her look like a modern ballerina, and the black leaf detailing gives the look some flair Paired with white gloves, a pearl necklace, and a tulle wrap, it was a look fit for a queen. Is this the Lisa Fremont who never wears the same dress twice? Only because it's expected of her. It's right off the Paris plane. You think it'll sell? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.